Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, Ezra here. And today we're gonna do a walkthrough. Basically what I'm gonna do is like, I'm gonna be enhancing with you from Naru up until like the pen to Bala um, weapons and armors so that you can see the process yourself and not just the theory behind it. And I believe that this would be helpful for newer players and returning players to kind of like see the actual process on how to tap, what are the things that I look out for and stuff like that. Now, this won't be like the perfect guide for anything I might, like, you know, this is just like my personal preference on things. So you could like, you know, tweak it a little bit depending on your preference. And our end goal is to make sure that we got the Jaglenium armor for our um, character so that, you know, they will be well protected and be able to grind high and um, areas and be able to get more silver for you so that you could progress more and more after the season. So the first thing that we would do is get our Naro gear from Fugger. So this comes after talking to Alistair and choosing between the main quest line or like the simplified quest line. Naro gear is free as well as the materials that you would need to upgrade them. You would just have to go to the main story quest line or the simplified quest line in order to get the beginner black stones for the armor and weapons. And getting these again is super easy. All you have to do is complete your quest lines or like for example, this one leveling up to get your black stone materials from the black spirit. So just in case you lose or accidentally delete any of these ones, you could go to Fugger and exchange these for just like one beginner black stone. Now you would see that there's a bound to character label on here. It means that you cannot share it with other alt. So you have to go through the main quest line if you're starting a new character in order to get these stones for that other character. Now that you have your Naro gear on your character, then what you would do now is summon your black spirit. Notice that I don't have any accessories over here because the quest does give you these dual ones that are easy to get. And really this just goes up to try, which is a very, very low level item. So getting the tubular ones would be much more beneficial for you rather than having these like stones be spent on those accessories. So once you have your black spirit up, call the enhancement window by pressing one then you would see this one. You would now need to load the item that you wish to enhance. And if you have the enhancement material already in your inventory, then it would be loaded too. So you would see in the middle the chance of success for that certain enhancement. And at the bottom, you would see the skip animation. The reason why we would want to check that one is you do not want to go over the 100% with this, you know, at least like five second animation and kind of like waste your time. For Naru gear, all you have to do is just like skip enhance all the way to pen, mainly because the percentages for this one is fairly high. And I'll just go through all of the levels for you and just to show you how easy it is, especially for like the current one where you get a lot, lot, lot of the beginner black stones. You would have at least, you know, hundreds left, even if you have all of your items to pen. Now just to pause here, you would see that it had a lot of failure, but still the deduction for like the durability for the failures is super low that you can just like keep tapping up until you get this to pen. So we'll continue on up until like we have including the weapons to pen and I'll show you how to do the next step. So once you have a Naru that is penned, this icon would appear and you would see congratulations, you have, you can now obtain Pride to Villa Gear. And all of the ones that you could convert are highlighted on your window. All you have to do is click on this one and click on the gear that you would want to upgrade to Tuvala. So you don't have to go to Fogar anymore. So that was one of the best updates that they did for new players. And all you have to do is to click on convert. It would convert it to Pry Tuvala. And we'll do that for all of our gear. So this would set us up to be able to use the time field stones now to update these ones, which we're going to be doing on the next section. So now that we have a full set of Pride to Vala, we can now enhance it with the time field black stones. 
Notice that you will be able to get the stones from the monster mobs that are listed over here. Bastion's Base, Gahaz, Desert Naga, Titium Valley, Crescent Shrine, Poly's Forest, and Fado's Habitat. Now, one of the best way to get the time field black stones is through your leveling quest. And you would see over here that you get certain rewards whenever you complete a certain level. And also some of these ones are tied to the event that is going on. So we would be accepting some of these ones so that we would get more of the time filled black stones. And the ones that I got currently is also um, part of the earlier like video that I did, like you know, the easy and lazy daily kill quest. Um, to get 600 time filled blackstone to make it a lot easier for me to up, um, upgrade or enhance these ones. So one good thing about those rewards too is it comes with the advice of Fox, you know, the plus 10 and plus 20. And we have like the 30 and 40, which you could use later on on enhancing. So in order for us to fully understand that more, it's kind of like the Naru gear. But what would happen is that instead of having percentages at 45% and up, Tuvala would have a lower one, but it's still high in terms of like the enhancement percentage in the overall um, game of BDO. So to understand it more quicker, let's go ahead and enhance these Tuvala gear. So you would see here, it's the same process, right clicking on the item, and this is going to be the base percentage. So the items that we got from the rewards event and coupons is like, you know, these fail stacks. All you have to do to apply it is right clicking on it and it would require the enhancement chance to be zero. So we would click yes on this one. You would see that it increased to 46%. So we'll go ahead and try our luck on that one. It failed, so you would see like the percentage increased from 10 to 13, which means that every fail that you get, like, you know, it would increase the chance. Now, like ignore the um, enhancement chance bonus because like that one is from the journal. So I just wanted to show you that, you know, like these ones, are helpful like you know for newer players to understand like you know how fail stack work so the more you fail the more the percentage increases so that's why whenever you hear veteran players say like oh you know save that fail stack save that percentage that is going to be used for another then that is the one that they're talking about but for tuvala we'll just go ahead and click on that one again it failed now we went from 52 percent to 58 percent so our fail stack now went from 10 to 13 to 16. So you can go ahead and keep tapping these ones, but if you're the type of person that wants to kind of like save the fail stack after a certain percentage, so for example, 52%, that was your limit. You want to keep this one for a higher update or like a higher enhance. So like I use the update a lot because like I got used to it and um, that is just equivalent to the enhance on my side. So what you would do is go to Channel Underfo which is going to be here in Vela and you would go to shop and he would have the blacksmith secret book. Now what this does is that it can save your fail stack depending on the level. So it could save up to less than 20 or less than equal to 30, less than equal to 40 and less than equal to 50. So you don't have to use, you know, the fail stack that you are using for the same item again and again so you could store it later that's why you know people would call it you know saving fail stacks so once you have purchased the book all you have to do is right click on that one corresponding to the chance that you want to save and you could click on this one and just keep on the animation because like it's too long or if you want to see it like it would be like this so it would be reset to zero so it would be saved into an advice of box and it would correspond to the level of enhancement chance that you've stored it in. Another option that you could do is the Nader's Band and it's another topic on its own. Um, you could search for this one. There's uh, like kind of like a lot of guides on how to obtain this one. But basically, this is mostly pearl items. So <laughs> that is one thing to remember. So what you could do is like whatever you have over here, whether it be 100, 179, you could just like store it in the belt and you could exchange it for the one that you would like. So for example, I exchange it to 61, I exchange it for the 96 and so on and so forth. So this belt is very useful. But again, as I mentioned, there are, you know, like on Pearl um, <laughs> prices on this one, depending on the seasons, most of the time this is on sale, but you could get some of these ones for free through questing. 
Now continuing on, there is another type of stone that guarantees 100% enhancement for these Tuvala up to try, and that is the refined magical black stone. So let's use this one. So you will see I have a Lancia that is at Pry, and I would want to enhance it to Duo. This would consume 15 of these ones, and then from Duo to Try it would consume 20. So in total, it would consume 35 if you would want to enhance these ones to Try, and then try your luck there to Tet to Pen. So that is one option. But these are kind of like hard to come by. Um, you would see over there that it only drops like you know on a high probability at Wargon Snare, Scattery Ruins, and Prodi Cave. One issue with enhancing, and this is one of the main problems of you know a lot of players, is that it consumes materials and it consumes the fail stacks of you know previous level that was successful. So if I have this one at Pry Duo try and then it failed try it downgraded back to do and then it downgraded back to pry then it means that the previous enhancement that i had is gone so the way that you would replenish your fail stacks is by going to your additional enhancement chant click on this one and you could use blackstone weapons that you know uh, you pick up from grinding mobs so you would see over here if i want to apply uh, plus 10, which is my normal one that I use for a um, pry to duo. Or if you want to use a 15 stack, then like you could also do that as well. So let's do that. You would see here that it would add an additional 30% on top of the ones that I currently have. So if I apply this one, it would now be 56%. So I could tap this one. And if it still fails, then I would have minus 10 on my time pro blackstone but I still keep, get to keep the enhancement chance or like the fail stack. So I click on again and now it consumed that fail stack. So that would be like kind of like the rotation that you would be doing. If I want to like use a 20%, it would now be at 49.50%. So using that one and enhance fail, it consumed like that um, material but the fail stack remains, but the original fail stack that I have before in the success is gone. So kind of like that is the loop of enhancement for newer players. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to get all of my items to try, and then after that one going to Tet to Pen, but we'll stop up Fuggers to get our additional fail stack. So I'm stopping here for a while and you would see that I enhance all of these ones to duo first. So this is kind of like the fail stack ladder that you know a lot of veterans um, would do. Um, but also this is very helpful for newer players so that you don't concentrate one stack on one item. So you would see that I do have like for donators like you know, the 22 and the 27 that I used. So I'm gonna be using for example this one the 22 now and then would load this one up. So this might go, this might not. So it went, so I'll just like put it aside and use this one for another one. So this goes, so that's good. And then after that one, I will use, you will see like I have 80 of these ones um, from the black stone. I had a session where I just like created a lot of 20s. So this one, it didn't. So I could now use this stack, the 27, that had an increase um, enhancement chance on another item instead of using it from try to duo I'm using it from duo to try so that's kind of like the ladder that like you know it goes so this one failed so the 31 that I have right now I could use now on this um, item so if I want to do that you know I could go ahead but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head on over to Fugger since we do have a few items that went to try and he has some of the quests that gives you additional fail stacks. 
So once you get to him, you would go to quest and you would get the items that went to try for you. So for example, the sub weapons that I have is already try and you will see here that the goal is to enhance your weapon to try to get a 40 stack that you could use to try and put it to tech. So we will get that one, we'll accept that. And then we'll also go for the main weapon since we have gotten that one too. And also the awakening weapon. So once we have that one set, we just equip it to activate the quest and accomplish it. So we got three. So now we would have three 40 stacks. So let's go ahead and unequip those weapons again and put it like over, over here and call the black spear. What we would do now is we would use that 40 stack. So currently I have like 21 because of like previous seasons. So I would load that weapon up and we would do like the ladder that I mentioned a little bit earlier. So what we would do is tap this first one. So like I co commonly like go over like, you know, sub weapon awakening and then like the main one. So I would tap this one. It goes to Tet, good. Then we put it aside. We go and load another 40, go over here, tap the weapon, go to Tet again. <laughs> So it's kind of lucky in a way. So load that another 40 um, stack, 37%. And we could tap that one and it went. So we would go and kind of like do that, you know, again and again up until like we got all of our weapons to um, Tet. But if we fail, so like I'm kind of hoping like some of these would fail so I could show an example of what to do. But it seems like we're on a hot streak. Um, except for like the other one. So let's go with these like um, backup ones that I have. Um, we have like a dual helmet and I would be loading a 20 stack for these ones. So I'm going to use it on here and it failed. So I'm going to use it now on the next one, which is going to be the duo and it goes to try. So now I have like three pride, right? So I'm going to use one of my 10 stack and enhance these ones. If it goes like, yeah, good. I don't have any 10 stacks anymore. So I'm going to use somewhere, um, some of my black stones loaded here, go to this one. If it doesn't go like, you know, the same, I try to put it on another one and then I try it again for these ones, putting it at, you know, I have, I want a higher percentage now. So I'm going to use a 15. Um, it still fails and now it goes. So now that I have like these three, I want to again, like um, put them into, you know, one, at least one of them to try. So I will try this one. It doesn't go remove that one go to the next duo and then it goes so now i have all of these ones at you know like try i would now load another 40 and i hope it, i'm not confusing it in any way it's just like you know using it on the same level and then like you know rotating the stack um depending on like what i'm enhancing so i'm gonna use this one 43 it doesn't go so i'm not gonna use it on the same one as i mentioned i'm gonna use it on the same level so do that one and now I have a 53 stack. I'm going to store it. And like, you know, this is 50, by the way, because like I have not 53 because I have a plus three permanent enhanced chance bonus. You could use the black, um, uh, blacksmith um, scroll for this one to store it if you don't want to use it. So for me, like once I hit 50, that's the one that I use for pen. So like sometimes around like, you know, 62, depending on like kind of like I'm. Um, if I want to enhance like you know, at a higher percentage or not. So now my issue is that, you know, some of the durability for this one has taken a big hit. So one of the things that we need to do is go to the blacksmith. So it's fairly easy to see which one needs repair. So you can see my Lancia is resting at 36 durability or 40 in total, and it needs 60 in order to be 100% um, again in terms of durability. So one of the updates that they did is that you could go to like the blacksmith, go to the repair and go to the max durability, recover max durability, search for that item. So for example, this Lancia, and you could use the tool or directly to repair. You don't need to exchange anymore. So you could go and click on that one that would recover 10 and it would only consume one. Now, if you have artisan memories lying around, then that will be much like, you know, perfect uh, if you do want to use that one for, um, you know, like any of your tool a year to get to pen much quicker. So you could use this on any of your items. So for example, this one, I have, you know, 60 durability. I want to use an artisan memory. So that would be 
multiplying what I have times five. So I would go and recover it once and it will be fully repaired. Just a reminder, these are just suggestions. So you can see that I'm enhancing my remaining armors to Tet by using a 30 stack. So definitely you can use whichever stack that you want as long as you're comfortable with it. After you get everything to Tet, you would just need to go to Fugger, make sure you have everything unequipped and just take all of the quests that like he currently has. So we would be able to get all of the stack that he offers. And one of the things that he offers and like, you know, having these ones to Tet is the 60 stack. So this is the one that we're going to be using to enhance our items to pen. So you have an option whether you use a 50 or a 60 normally, like since these are free, these are what I use. So now that we got our 60 stack, we're going to try and enhance to pen. Now, some of the players that I know use crons for these ones, but personally, I do not do that because like um, crons I reserve for end game enhancements. So what I would do now is I would summon the black spirit and go to the enhancement window. And over here, I'm going to start with the armors first. Now, the reason why I'm going to be doing this is that if any of these fails at a 60 stack, I could reserve that one and put it for the weapon, which is going to be a higher chance if this one fails, because it's going to be adding six additional fail stacks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and hit and tap this one. It fails. So I now have 69 stack or like 66. So what I do is I load up a weapon and then I kind of like put some vaults cry. If you have something like uh, some of these ones lying around, this one gets rewarded, you know, like back spirit adventure, the events and all. And I have now a 44% chance, 44.5% chance to be exact for this one compared to if I only have like, you know, for example, like the base um, 60. So if I have the base 60, I put this one, this is just 36%. With the one with the Valks that I just did, it's now 44.5%, which is, you know, a higher probability. So what I'm gonna do is tap this one, it fails, and then I move on to like the next weapon. And this would now be 47.50. And there, I would now have, you know, my first pen. So I would repeat this method so I would go now to like the 60 again and then head on over to one of my armors and try to enhance it. If it fails, I move on to the next weapon again. Like, you know, I'm using some vault try. If you do not want to like, yeah, like then definitely don't. But like I have a, I have a lot of these ones from the previous event. So enhance this one, it fails. Then I'm going to leave that one on my Nader's build. And I'm gonna go and do like another one. So you kind of like get the like the gist of this one. So I'm gonna go and enhance this one to um, pen, and it goes like that's nice. So I'm gonna try to enhance these ones to um, ten. So we ran out of material, so I went out and grinded a little bit. And on that note, we already had the like pen weapons already. So it made the grind much easier. We got the pen to well the shoes and then also the gloves. The only thing that we need to upgrade now is the armor and the helmet. And I know it's kind of frustrating sometimes like your materials like run out because of a bad luck streak but like you know like you could get more as you level up so i got to level 59 i got additional like um black stones and also tubal ore that we're preparing for the accessories and i'm gonna go and also complete like the battle pass now i did get um the black spirit pass so that kind of like doubles the materials that i get for these ones but it is not necessary so um instead of like just getting 25 over here i will be getting 50 so like there's kind of like an advantage of 
on that one. So all of these ones too um, will result into having a frozen type of black stone. So I would really recommend for like, you know, these ones to be used in one of the items that like won't go. So I most likely would use it for like the Tuvala helmet. I had a like um, a bad streak on this one. It really just like one go tet for some reason, and it really consumed all of my um, time filled black stone. So like for cursed ones like that, like yeah, like definitely that's the one that you're gonna be using, and you will get more as you complete these ones. So you see here that I already um, have like level 259 but like this is just like um, 57 for some of these stones so um i would really recommend to kind of like um gauge your options uh, would you want to like complete a battle pass get more materials or grind for it if you're kind of impatient and like try to find out like you know what's the perfect combination for you to get all of these ones um to pen because like experience may vary depending on your play time and your play style so now we will talk to the blacksmith, go to the exchange, and you would see here at the very bottom, the ones that you would be able to exchange. Normally I go directly for like the tubular necklace first because it gives like the highest AP um, for me to hit like more brackets. So I sometimes like, you know, exchange everything, but for this one, I go 10 at a time. Remember that you could heat these up. So before I was unaware of that one, I thought like, oh, I already have a pen to the necklace, so I'm just going to dispose all of those ones. No, like make sure to heat them up so that you will be able to get those to the ore bags for other accessories. So for newer players, you would see that, you know, it's different from the armor and weapon uh, enhancement. Main reason is that Accessories needs a copy of itself in order for it to be enhanced. So what it means that if you have a Tuvala necklace, it would need another Tuvala necklace. If it fails, both of them explode and you don't get to, you know, keep anything. And that applies to the real gear, which is, for example, um, Tomb Red rings or the latent power stone and stuff like that. So that's what makes the accessory enhancement like really more expensive like than the normal one. So I'm going to go ahead and tap a few. Normally my progression is, you know, zero stack. And then the next one would be 20, 30, and then 40. Um, so like that's the level. So like probably do will try 10, 10, 10. So here we go. So that's a fail 74%. And that's a success. So what I do next is I apply a 20 stack for this one. I still have a lot and I still have a lot of black stones too to use. So that's like, you know, like I'm totally fine for me and that one goes and what I try to do next is get a 30 and normally this is scary for me. So sometimes I just use a 20 because like I have a abundance of that one. But for this case, like I'll just go like uh, with this one and tap. We got that one. And then for the tet, I tend to use like a higher stack, which is going to be um, 40. So that's 65% and it goes and normally I stop here. The reason why is because like I want to have something to use um, since I don't have anything yet. So what I would do is I would equip that one first and then I would proceed to the next accessory. Next one will go for the ring. So we would go ahead and same process, just exchange 10 and then same process, go here, 74% that's fine the fails okay that's one so apply a 20 stack so that's good and then for this one we're gonna apply the same thing 30 74 percent it goes and what i do here i stop for a while um even if it's dry and then i equip it just like to get this additional um time filled black stone that we could also exchange for tuvala ore if we ran out of that ores to exchange so that we can get more accessories. So that also unlocked my Frozen Tides Blackstone and I'm gonna be using it a little bit later. So we can just like go ahead and like claim everything on these ones that like we can so that it would help out on our enhancement and be able to get more of, you know, like the accessory. So we'll go ahead and go to that ring again. 
hopefully this would go so we would load in our 40 stack and again like you know this is totally up to you if you would want to just use like a 20 stack for 51 percent that's fine or if you want to use like you know a higher one like that's totally fine and up to you but i would just recommend like you know 40 as you know for me like i'm comfortable at 65 percent and that goes so again i would stop there for now um and go and try to do that same step for the other one Okay guys, so at this point we got pretty good gear. So we got like our Tuvala 2 pen um, for the weapons and then for the armors. We got a few pieces that are already pen and these are two um, tets. But we do have like the frozen tied blackstone that we could use to enhance this one. So um, let's do that one right now to get that out of the way. And we would just like need to load that um this cursed Tavala helmet and then load up this one instead of the time filled blackstone so be aware of that and then you would see over here that it's guaranteed click on enhance and we got our um Tuvala helmet so we got like you know good amount of dp good amount of ap to, enough to um, grind more of the valencia region so normally i set up at sulfur mines or sometimes depending on um, the density of like the players that are already here grinding for stones, I go to either um, Titium Valley or Crescent. So like those are like you know, my preferred ones. There's a lot, so like there's the Naga, there's Gahaz, there's Pilaku. So it's really up to you um, to choose. And at this point, like you can really grind anywhere there. So the question now is where do you go from here? Now, like I won't be walking you through to like, you know, the, the questing and all like I will be leaving that up to you so that you would be able to get your um, Tuvala pens. Uh, that is one of the rewards that would be given out for this one. You would see over here that if your season character reached level 60, you would get the pen Tuvala ring and 61, the pen Tuvala earring. So that would cover it over here. Now, this one's like I recommend you keep them as a backup and use the Tuvala ore that you get to enhance to let's say like you know to your pen accessory so the reason for that is that again it explodes both of the um, base material and your enhanced one so we you really don't want to make it a habit of getting negative progression so basically negative progression is you're gambling your current items in hopes of getting the higher version of it or like you know pen so for newer players avoid that as soon as you know as soon as you can so like you don't make it a habit um another thing too is that after the season what you do is just save up money um enhancing items you know like when you convert some of these items into like you know the converted gear you could use the jatina quest to get your pen but it's going to be more time and more expensive in terms of like you know the cost opportunity so your best friend would be this person and the central market you would see here like the main weapons listed all of the things that you would need so for example i want to improve my gear so my current level like for like the tuvala gear if i in, in, i exchanged it to a um, boss gear then it would be at you know the kasarka at the level so most things that you would want for the weapons is black star and you would see over here that a tet black star compared to this you would see at 122 ap and 128 is super cheap like 10 billion is in current market is so easy to get with the um, enhanced monster zones from valencia and also like the bmc prices that are going up so it's fairly easy to get these ones by saving up and if your goal is to have your gear on your name, I would recommend to have good amount of AP and DP first before you aim for that one. So even for me, like before I aimed for my materials um, in terms of like the enhancement for my accessories. So when I got my um, first pen crescent and my Voltara built by enhancing, I was at negative 38 to 41 billion. 
So keep that in mind. So like if your goal is just to get geared up, then go ahead and, you know, save up money and not spending it on unnecessary things. And you would get to these ones like easily, maybe within a week for some players, some players like do it in a few more, uh, a few days and some casual players do it in a month. So definitely like, you know, one good uh, option for you to consider and for other progressions too, you would see all of those ones here. Um, if you do not want to use the Jatina quest again, you could just go to any of these ones. So let, let's say, for example, you want to go the DR route, the, um, the, the damage reduction or like the evasion. You will see here that the, um, you know, like the tets are the ones that you're going to be getting. So it's almost like same stats. Um, but for these ones, you could get this too for just a couple of billion. So um, if your goal again is to get geared, buy it off the market. If you want your items to have your name, then explore the Jatina quest line because it's guaranteed. And if you do not understand, uh, like, you know, the probabilities and also the uh, average attempts and all of that, um, especially for, like, you know, the enhancing material cost, then I would recommend you skip the enhance. So, guys, I will be ending the video over here. Hopefully, this has helped you out in understanding the enhancement system more than you know like the naru and the tuvala gears and also kind of like understand more of what the um, angle of progression is and if you haven't yet please do subscribe so you will be updated on like these kind of guides and before we you know actually end i'm just gonna leave you with a few tips make sure that you're saving more than you are spending so that you are gaining more money as months and weeks goes by BDO, you would always hear this, is a marathon. You would not get your gains in a few days. You might be lucky, but it's not going to be consistent in terms of, you know, like those types of gains. And then also make sure that you're having fun. You know, it's it's not fun like make, treating BDO as a job. It's not. So treat it as a game. Make sure that you're progressing um, casually, like not like really sweating on it and burning yourself out. And with that said, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys on the next video.